Hello student, I welcome you all. So now I am going to solve the problems on a beam element using the FAM. So here is the values are given in the question like Young's modulus is given, moment of inertia is given and the cross section area of the beam is constant. So you need to de determine the deflection and slope at C, calculate the reaction forces at both A and C and moment also. Right. So these are given and you can see the question and diagram in the display ok so both the ends are fixed where it is represented as numbering as a and this is a and c so midpoint will be b so the load which is acting at at the central because the total length is 6 meter and load act at an midpoint so that 1 kilo newton and there is a 20 kilo newton per meter moment load is also acting in the same point ok so first the body diagram you have to convert into discretized as like a FAM method so first uh, here there will be this one will say element 1 this one will be say element 2 and this is L1 and this will be L2 ok and nodes are A, B, C it means there will be three nodes two elements and two lengths and anyhow cross sectional area is constant so same thing you have to draw like this ok say this is the element 1 2 and nodes are 1 where it is uh, so you can say 1 2 3 are the nodes and here at node 1 there will be vertical deflection that is we can say v1 in the next step it is written ok there will be v1 and there is a slope or moment so let us say theta1 and at node 2 v1 theta1 and node 2 here there is a vertical and also there is a slope at node 3 also there will be a vertical deflection and also slope right and degree of freedom for the force and moment there will be vertical movements at each node and there will be moment at each node like m1 m2 m3 f1 f2 f3 for displacement as already i have said v1 theta1 v2 theta2 v3 theta3 same thing you can all these you can men mention in the same diagram or you can separately mention like this okay in the same first figure only you can mention all this uh, to save the time or you can make it separately for forces moment or the displacement and reaction now we have to calculate the stiffness matrix for each element like we have two elements right so element 1 and element 2 so both elements having length is common right l is common for both the elements say l1 is equal to l2 right that is 3 mm 3 meter now we can make L k1 k2 as equal here because the length is same right so k1 and k2 this is for the element 1 this is for the element 2 that is is equal to this is the stiffness matrix for the beam element okay so this will be same for all the beam problems okay so here e is the Young's modulus i is the moment of inertia l is the length of the individual element for example you are taking for k1 so l should be mentioned here so after substituting in the values like e i by l cube ok so this you have to make calculation e i by l cube so we are getting here 3.1 into 10 power of 6 ok this value so that is taken outside the matrix because it's common in all the matrix right all matrix it is common so 3.1 into 10 power of 6 we have to take it outside so inside the matrix there will be 12 and again uh, this calculation you have to make it because it's l square here okay because we have taken l cube as outside right so again there will be a multiplication with the l okay so 6 into 3 like 18 you are getting like that you have to calculate for individual elements say this is equation 1 for element 1 so this is for element 1 okay similarly you have to calculate for l2 also k2 also 
so as i said k1 k2 is same so same equation you are getting say equation 1 and equation 2 separately right so after that we have to add or you have to make the assembly using the global stiffness matrix there is a technique called global stiffness matrix this we call as okay using the global stiffness matrix you have to add k1 and k2 okay so adding there is an procedure of adding okay so i have in the my separate video i explained about global stiffness matrix if you search uh, about the global stiffness matrix we are getting the video so you can just find out uh, in details i have explained how to make the adding two matrices okay so using that you have to make global stiffness matrix then you are getting finally k where k is equal to what k1 plus k2 it means okay so like sum of these two elements after that you are getting this as k now where this has your k right so this total entire matrix it will be k now this one so uh, there is an finite element equation that is called as k is equal to k u okay k u is equal to f so k we have written and displacement vector you can see this is the displacement vector k into u is equal to f so f is written in the left side so k which you all be getting from the global stiffness matrix and the displacement vector it will be each node having two displacement as i said each uh, node having two displacement this is for node one this is for node two and this is for node three okay so here in this format you have to write then k u is equal to f so once you have written this uh, fem formation this we call as finite element formation okay in the fem formation we have to substitute everything k into u is equal to f u is nothing but displacement like at node 1 there is v1 theta 1 v2 theta 2 and v3 theta 3 for node 3 and similarly forces force will be f1 and m1 at node 1 and this is for node 2 and this is for node 3 okay same thing you have to substitute and there is the outside matrix it is 3 by 1 into 10 power of 6 now what are the boundary conditions okay so boundary conditions uh, which will be uh, taken from the uh, geometry of the figure okay so in this figure the boundary condition it will be So the boundary conditions are see the the is vertical load it is acting downward here you can see okay so actually this one kilonewton it's not one kilonewton it's 10 kilonewton in actual so 10 kilonewton is acting downward and where the moment is acting 20 kilonewton per meter so it is acting the anticlockwise you have to take as plus 20 kilonewton per meter and load also it is acting downward so you have to take as minus 10 kilonewton okay and also uh, at both the ends right both the ends are fixed so at node 1 and also at node 3 so there v1 and v3 both will be 0 right and also the moment or slope or theta 1 and theta 3 both are getting 0 same thing they have been taken here right and these are the things i already told uh, load which is acting downward so minus 10 kilonewton and uh, moment it is 20 kilonewton per meter right so now uh, we have to make the elimination method okay so elimination method here before step so in this we have to eliminate the row and column wherever there is an zero as i told here this one it will be zero right 
uh, v1 will be 0 theta 1 will be 0 and v3 theta 3 will be 0 so their entire row and their entire column first row first column it means and second row second columns and uh, this row this column okay and the last row last column will be eliminated okay so remaining is that only this matrix okay 2 into 2 matrix you are getting and f2 m2 you are getting outside and this value also you have to take it so same thing it will be written at the end as you can check f2 m2 and outside the matrix there is a 3.1 into 10 power of 6 and inside the matrix it is 24 0 0 72 and outside b2 theta 2 right this you will getting so after that uh, you have to make this uh, multiplication where you know that f2 and there is an m2 also right that you have to substitute and you have to make the matrix multiplication so after that we are getting the value of v2 because here the unknowns is only v2 and theta 2 so that you are getting after making the multiplication so all these details i have explained already in my old videos you can just check out okay and also force reaction okay so the reaction forces uh, only there will be at node 1 and there will be at node 3 reaction forces and moment so uh, it will be taken uh, f2 m2 and f3 m3 Okay, so actually the both ends are fixed. Okay, both ends are fixed means there will be reaction forces here. There will be reaction forces at node 1 and at node 3. But by mistake it is written as 2 here. In place of 2 it should be F1, M1. Okay, some mistakes are there. You can just uh, cross check and uh, see. Yeah, it is again taken F1 value, M1 value. Right, and there is an F3 value also in moment also okay because you shall not take f2 and m2 because it is that is a midpoint so there will be no reaction forces okay so this is an, a mistake here taken right so after that uh, you have to calculate these two unknown forces 